Hi, so today I'm going to go through algebra collecting like terms. So the question one says simplify C plus C plus C plus C. Imagine that's one bag of sweets, that's two, that's three, that's four. So I'm going to work out all together how many bags of sweets do I have? One plus two plus three plus four, I have four. So this simplifies to give me four C. However, if I have P times P times P times P, I'm not adding them up together, I'm not grouping them, I'm multiplying them by each other. Therefore, I will get an indice to how the power of how many there are. So they've got one, two, three, four. So this will be to the power of four. It won't be four P, it will be P to the power of four. Now, this question says 3G plus 5G. So for example, if I have three bags of sweets and I have five bags of sweets and I'm adding them together, three plus five gives me eight, so this simplifies to give me 8G. Now this one, I have 2R and 5P. Now I get my big numbers, which are my two and my five, and I multiply them together to give me 10. And then I get my R and my P, and since I can't multiply our letters, I just put them next to each other. So this simplifies to give me 10RP. Moving on, this says simplify 5p plus 2q minus 3p minus 3q. So I'm going to simplify my p's and my q's together. I have 5p minus 3p. So five bags of chocolates, take away three bags of chocolates, leaves me with two bags of chocolates. Now I have 2q minus 3q. So I have two bags of sweets, take away three bags of sweets, will leave me with minus one. So if I have minus one, I don't need to write the one, I can just simplify that to give me two P minus Q. Next question says, simplify three G plus five G, three bags of sweets plus five of bags of sweets will give me eight bags of sweets. Two R multiplied by five P, the two and the five multiplied to give me 10. When the letters are being multiplied, they just go next to each other, so it will become R P. This question says simplify Y plus Y. So imagine I have one bag of sweets and an add another bag of sweets. How many bags of sweets do I have? Two. So this simplifies to give me two Y. Now, P squared plus P squared plus P squared. So how many P squares do I have? I have three of them, so this simplifies to give me three P squared. Okay. Now this question says simplify C plus C plus C. So how many C's do I have? I have three, so this can simplify to give me three C. This one says E plus F plus E plus F. So I'm going to group up my E's. I have one, two, three E's, so I can write down three E. And I have one, two F's, so I can add two F. This question says two A plus three A. So because the A is the same, the letter is the same in both of them. For example, I've got two apples plus three apples. I'm going to be left with five apples. Now I have 2xy plus 3xy minus xy. So I've got 2 plus a 3 minus a 1. 2 plus a 3 gives me a 5. 5 minus a 1 gives me a 4. So I'm left with 4xy. This next question says 3a plus 5b minus 8 plus 2b plus 8. So I'm going to group them together. I've got 3a minus a. That simplifies to give me 2a. I've got plus 5b plus 2b, which simplifies to give me plus 7b. And then I've got my plus 8, which doesn't group with anything. And that's what my answer simplifies to give me. This one says simplify 2x times y times 3. Now I've got two big numbers here, 2 multiplied by 3, which can simplify to give me 6. I've got my x multiplied by my y, which cannot simplify it to anything. So they just go next to each other. So it becomes 6xy. Now this question says 5x plus 3y minus 2x plus y. So I'm going to group up my x's. 5x minus 2x. 5 take away 2 gives me 3. So this simplifies to give me 3x. Minus 3y. So Sorry, this is plus 3y plus y. So 3y plus y will give me 4y because now I have 4. So that simplifies to give me 3x plus 4y. My next question says y times y times y. So y is multiplying by itself. How many times? Three times. So it will become to the power of three. Okay, next question says simplify 5bc plus 2bc minus 4bc. So my thing here is bc. So all the, I have a bc in all three of them. So I'm just going to take out the numbers 5 plus 2 minus 4. 5 plus 2 gives me 7. 7 minus 4 gives me 3. So I'll be left with 3bc. My next question says simplify 4x plus 3y minus 2x plus 2y. So I've got my x's, 4x, and I've got minus 2x. 4x minus 2x leaves me with a 2x. I've got plus 3y and I've got plus 2y. 3 plus 2 gives me 5, so this is plus 5y. Now I've got m times m times m. When m is being multiplied by itself, it's going to have an indice to the power of how many times it's multiplying by itself. In this question, it's multiplying by itself 3 times, so it will be m to the power of 3.
Now with this question, we have 3n times by 2p. 3 times by 2 will give me 6. When a letter is multiplied by a letter, it's put next to each other, so it will just be 6np. This one says a plus a plus a plus a, so I have one apple plus two apples plus three apples plus another apple, and I'm left with four apples. This question says 3 times b times 4, so I'm going to get my numbers together. 3 times 4 gives me 12, and the letter just goes next to it, so it becomes 12b. When a letter and a number is being next to each other, it means it's being multiplied. So if I, to simplify it, I can just put it next to each other. I group up my a's, so I've got 4a minus 2a, which simplifies to give me 2a. I've got plus 5b plus a b, which simplifies to give me plus 6b. This question here says 2a plus 7b minus 3b plus a, so I've got my 2a plus my a, which simplifies to give me 3a. I've got 7b take away 3b, which leaves me with 4b. Now, this one, I have x to the power 3 plus x to the power 3, so I need to work out how many x to the power 3's I have. I, these are the same things, and if the same thing is being added next, added with each other, I'm going to have that amount. So for example, I have, so for example, x to the power 3 is an apple. I have one apple plus another apple, so I'm literally left with 2x cubed. So two of them, okay? Okay, next question. Here we have simplify 4p times by 5q. 4 multiplied by 5 simplifies to give me 20. p multiplied by q gives me p cubed. This one says d times d times d times d. How many times is d multiplying by itself? 4. So it becomes to the power of 4. This one says 5g take away 2g. Now I have 5 grapes take away 2 grapes. How many am I left with? 3 grapes. I have p times p. How many times is p multiplying to itself? Twice. So it becomes p to the power 2. p squared. This one says 3p plus 2q minus p and q. P's and q's get confusing, but let's just group them up together. I've got 3p minus p. So 3 pairs minus 1 pair, I'm left with 2 pairs. I've got plus 2q plus 2q, which simplifies to give me plus 4q. Now this one here, I've got 3y squared take away y squared. If I have 3 take away 1, I'm left with 2. So this answer will be 2y squared. This one here says 5c plus 7d take away 2c. So I'm going to group up my c's and my d's. I have 5c minus 2c, which gives me 3c. I have plus 7d minus 3d, which will simplify to give me plus 4d. My last question here says 4p times by 2q. 4 times by 2 gives me 8. And p and q go next to each other because they are being multiplied. Simplify d plus d plus d plus d plus d. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of them. So this becomes 5d. Simplify y squared plus y squared. How many y squareds do I have? I have two, so this becomes two y squared. Now here I'm going to group up my a's and my b's. I have three a minus two a. I leave, I'm left with a single a. I've got four b minus b. Four take away one will give me three, so I've got plus three b. Here I'm going to group up my x squareds and my x's. Okay, so don't be alarmed because we have x's in all of them. x squared is different to just an x. So I'm going to group up my x squareds. I have 5x squareds, take away 3x squareds, which leaves me with 2x squared. And then I have a 2x minus an x2, take away 1, leaves me with 1. So I've got plus x. This says simplify 4x plus 7y, so I'm going to group up my x's. 4x plus 2x gives me 6x. I've got plus 7y minus 3y, which will give me a positive 4y. This one says 2pq plus pq, so plus pq means I've got one of them. Here I've got two of them. 2 plus 1 gives me 3. This simplifies to give me 3pq. Now simplify e, I've got 1, 2, 3, I'm adding together 3 e's, so this gives me 3 e. I've got 1 and 2 f's, I add those together and that gives me 2 f, so I've got 3 e plus 2 f. Here it says p squared plus p squared plus p squared. How many p squareds do I have? I have 3 of them, so this gives me 3 p squared. Simplify e plus f plus f plus e, okay. So I'm going to group up my e's, 1, 2, 3, 4, so this gives me 4 e. I have 1, 2, 3 f's, so this gives me plus 3 f. Bear in mind your pluses and your minuses, okay? This is p squared plus p squared plus p squared. How many p squareds do I have? I have three of them, so this is three p squared. This says simplify 2x plus 2x. If I have two bananas and I add two bananas, how many do I have? I have four, so this gives me four x. This says simplify 5y, take away 2y. If I have five pairs and I take away two, I'm left with three, so this is three y. This is two times four p, so two times four will simplify to give me eight, and my p will just stay there. C plus 3 plus C, so I have a carrot plus another carrot plus another carrot, I'm left with 3 carrots. 2E times by 3F, my 2 and my 3 multiply to give me 6, and my E and my F stay next to each other because they are being multiplied. 
I have 9p plus, so I'm going to group up my p's. I have 9p, take away 2p, I'll be left with 7p. I have plus 2t and plus 3t. 2t plus 3t will give me 5t. All right, this question is f plus f plus f plus f plus minus f. Okay, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4 f's, 4 f's, and then I'm taking away an f. So 4f take away an f will leave me with 3f. Now this question says 2m multiplied by 3, I multiply my numbers 2 and 3 and get 6 and because the m is multiplied with it, I just put it next to it. I've got 3a plus an a which leaves me with 4a, I've got 2h added to a 3h which gives me a 5h. a plus a plus a plus a, how many a's do I have? 4, so this gives me 4a. 3 times c times d, so when a letter is multiplied next to another letter or a number, you put next to each other, so 3c, d will be 3 times c times d. I have 3EF plus 5EF minus 1EF, okay? If it's minus EF, it means there's only one of them. So 3 plus 5 gives me 8. 8 minus 1 will give me 7, so I'm left with just 7EF. D plus D plus D, how many Ds do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so that I'm left with 5D. 3 multiplied by M multiplied by 2. 3 times 2 gives me 6, and the M is next to it because it's being multiplied with it. I've got 6k minus 2k, which leaves me with 4k. I've got plus 3j plus 5j plus 3 plus 5 gives, simplifies to give me plus 8. So I'm left with plus 8j. This is how to collect like terms in algebra.